How can I unzip and layer Landsat 8 data? You can download Landsat 8 data from the USGS website to use freely. Once you've searched and found your data that you would like to download and download it to your computer, you will see it as a file name .tar.gz. You're going to take this file and you're going to import it and layer stack it in Ardas Imagine directly. You don't have to unzip it and then do each of the layers individually as you did with previous uh, Landsat data sets. So how do you do this? From under the Manage Data tab, we're going to click on Import. And when you click on Import, under the format, there are a variety of different things you can import into a readable format into Erdas Imagine. And one of those is going to be Landsat 8. So Landsat 4, 5, 7, or 8 from USGS. You're going to see here that this is the format, the exact format that you download that needs to be um, imported. So I'll click on the file open icon, select the zipped file, and then my output data set can go to whatever folder I would like, and I can import it as a .img, as a TIFF, whatever makes sense for you for your data format. So once I click OK, I'm going to get a dialog box. And that dialog box is going to tell me which temporary file it's going to use to extract. And then I can also choose from that zip file what I would like to layer stack into my final output image. So if you don't want to import or look at the QA data, you can deselect that one. You can also deselect Sirius data. Um, whatever you would like to layer in terms of your um, file, you turn them on or you turn them off. And once you have then everything selected that you would like to import, you can either choose OK, or if you have multiple files that you would like to import in the same way, you can choose Batch. I'm going to choose OK for the one file and allow the process to unzip and layer stack the data. It takes a second for the process to unzip, so if you don't see anything in the progress, progress bar happening right away, that's because the file is unzipping. Then it starts to do the progression of importing, uh, and that's where you'll see the progress bar for each of the layers as it's stacking. You can see each of the layers unzipping and then merging together as it stacks. When the process is 100% and complete, we can go ahead to open up the image. And once the image is open, you can see the multispectral image, choose the multispectral contextual tab at the top, and then look at the seven different layers that you have imported. You can also see if I go to my open raster layer and click on recent that it also imported the other layers that I can look at. You can change the layers back and forth. So multispectral, I can drag the panchromatic image uh, to the bottom, multispectral image on top, and I can start to change the different layers within here as well. Now to look at some of the predefined layers for Landsat 8, I can choose the Landsat 8 multispectral sensor attribute file. And then here at the bottom, I can choose here um, some of the predefined combinations. So atmospheric penetration, TM healthy vegetation, zoom into the data set, and start to look at the data. So you can change different band combinations, use the sensor attribute file to use predefined combinations to change the band combinations and start to do your visual interpretation and even feature extraction. And that is how I unzip 
and stack a Landsat 8 image.